One, two, three, four. Hi there. That tune I was just playing is Ruben's Train, so we're going to be looking at that today. I'm going to show you a simple version of it and also just a few variations on the melody if you're looking at improvising. So there's thousands of versions of this tune and I don't think any version is played the same way as any other version. So I said it's known as Ruben's Train, also known as Train 45 and also known as 900 Miles Away From Home. It was one of those songs that was around before recorded music and the first versions of it that I know of started appearing in the 1920s. So you should check some of these out. There's a few good harmonica versions floating around. Um, in particular Mike Stevens just did uh, a real cranking version of it under the name Train 45. And also, too, I think you should check out some of the versions on other instruments. In particular, the fiddle. Because I think the fiddle is what most closely resembles the harmonica in sound. I'm playing today a D harmonica, and we're in second position, so we're in the key of A. And I'm going to show you now a very simple version of this tune that you can play. So it starts on four draw. And when I'm playing four draw on this, I kind of keep it loose, really bendy. So you'll notice that when I'm playing. So there's the first part. So it's four draw, then down to four blow, then to three draw. The three draw is bent. So it's bent one semitone, one step. So that puts us in the minor key. And then back to four draw again. Second part, almost the same, but instead of going back to finish on the four draw, we go down to finish on two draw. So we put those two bits together. Here's the last part. So we do that four draw, four blow, three draw with the bend, we do that twice, and then we finish on two draw. So we put it all together and we get this. Here's what it sounds like when we speed it up. One, two, three, four. You don't have to play it that fast necessarily, or you can play it faster if you want. It's really up to you what sort of sounds good for you. But with bluegrass tunes, you really want to improvise on them and make them all your own. I did a video about improvising recently. If you haven't seen it, you can check it out here. So I'm just going to show you now just a few little variations you can do with this tune. Now I recommend you don't copy what I do note for note. You just sort of take it as a template and just play around with it. Just sort of noodle with the tune and um, over time develop your own way of playing it. A lot of tunes when I'm playing them, um, are after a year or two, what I play might sound completely different to what I was playing previously. You're always just kind of adapting them and just playing around with them. So one thing you can do with this tune is add some chords to it. So 
So there, instead of just starting on the four, I'm playing four and five draw. So I'm just sort of playing two notes together, maybe three. We're in that sweet spot on the harmonica for playing chords, so it's great to utilize it on this tune. You can be quite loose with the chord playing. It's probably going to sound good because you're just in that zone. Another thing you can do with this tune is vamping if you're a tongue blocker. So that's when you take your tongue off the comb and you just naturally produce a chord. And then you just bring it back down again for the single note. If you don't tongue block or you don't vamp, I've made a playlist on tongue blocking that I'm adding to, so check that out. I've got demonstrations there about vamping. So when you vamp on this tune, it gives it a real old-timey kind of sound and also more of a train sound chugging along. This is what I mean. You might get a similar effect if you're a lip purser by just um, widening your lips when you want to form the chord. It'll give you sort of an approximation of vamping. A simple variation you can do this tune is introduce the five draw note. And you can do endless variations just adding that one note. Another thing you can do is start with the basic melody, finish with the basic melody, and in between do something completely different. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to add some of the patterns that I was talking about in the previous video about improvisation, and I might also add that five draw note as well. Let's see what happens. What I was playing then was a bit fast for you to catch. Check out the other video. I slow everything down. And it's also something too that you just have to spend time working with on your own. You just have to sit down, you have to noodle it out. Just, just spend the time just working out different patterns, just working out different ways of playing. And just working on being able to do that in a performance situation. And it's just something that you get used to over time and you know just getting your brain used to playing that way okay now I'm going to show you a non-traditional approach to playing this tune a little while back I did a review of the wild tuned harmonica if you haven't seen it check it out here and in that video I suggested that the wild harmonica could be pretty cool for playing bluegrass music on and I think Ruben's Train is a good tune that demonstrates this. Here's what I mean. So that's some of the ways that you can play Ruben's Train. It's such a simple tune, but there's so much you can do with it. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoy playing Ruben's Train. So until next time, bye for now.